All right, today we are reacting to Girls Can't Handle the Attention I Get, Dating Different. And basically, we have this young gentleman here who is tatted from head to toe, and girls don't like that, you know? It's hard for him to get a girlfriend, you know? Maybe he has trouble securing the right female. Bro may have Riz, maybe he doesn't, but either way, the tattoos get in the way of his love life. So we're gonna react to this video and see if I feel bad for bro, you know, see if he's valid, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. But before we do, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and let's get into it. To it. My tattoos really push me forward. They help individualize myself. There's so many that I like. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> look at that cat, dude. We have a cat with six eyes on it. His tattoos kind of look like those shirts that I see band kids wearing. You ever seen a band kid pull up with a shirt like this and he calls it drip? It's like a cat vomiting a rainbow or something. Or it's like a taco tripping on acid or something. You know what I'm talking about? No, 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 but let's not judge bro yet. I mean, one goofy tattoo does not make you a goofy person. So let's check it out. I would say my hands down favorite one is the scar I have over my eye. I think I spent almost six or seven thousand getting all my teeth done up. Dude, what? Did you see that little clip they just played of him? Why was he so mad? Look at him, bro. He's he's mad as hell. Done up. A lot of people are surprised when I say I have trouble dating. A lot of people can't handle their- I'm gonna be honest, bro. I was not surprised one bit. Matter of fact, I would be surprised if you didn't have any trouble dating. I mean, think about the average guy, right? The average guy already has trouble pulling, you know? If we have a standard guy with standard riz and he's just a standard person, he's he's gonna have trouble. You, on the other hand, I mean, you're, you're special. You're, you're a shiny Pokemon, you know? You're gonna have some troubles, bro. Like, your face kind of looks like those mazes that they put on the kids' menus at restaurants. You know, like they give the kid a pack of crayons and a maze to solve on the menu. Yeah, that's kind of like what your face looks like. And I'm not even saying you're ugly, bro. Like, you seem cool so far. And I'm not just saying that because I don't want you to hurt me. I, I genuinely think you look cool. But yeah, you're going to have some trouble, bro. Partner constantly having people gawk at him, throw themselves at him. Hello, how are you? I'm a hugger. <laughs> I've never met someone completely inked up. Are the teeth permanent or can you take them out? Yes, they're permanent. They're permanent? Yeah. Damn. My name is Croissant. That's a dope ass name, bro. Croissant. Wait, <laughs> I just realized his shirt is his name. Croissant on the shirt. Croissant on the birth certificate. Damn, bro. I mean, I don't even know. Was this on the birth certificate? Did he just choose that name? I feel like he chose that name, bro. Because who puts their birth name on a shirt and wears it, bro? Like, would you really see somebody walking down the street with death metal font on their shirt that just says Brian? I've never seen that in my life. Musician. Today, I'm going on my first blind date. I got my first test. Also, real quick, I saw him. I saw him brushing his teeth right Damn. here. Look. My name is Chris. Does he have to do that? Like, I don't know the rules for having gold teeth. Can Can someone tell me? Like, what's the rules? Like, do you have to brush them or what? I am a full time uh, musician. Today, I'm going on my first blind date. I got my first tattoo. I think six ish years ago. Once I got my first one, I got addicted immediately. My tattoos really push me forward. They help individualize myself. I wear clothes to show off my tattoos all the time because I love them, they look cool. I typically don't have to wear much because my face and neck draw attention. Yeah, bro, I can understand why. And I'm not even hating on bro, but I feel like, you know, you can individualize yourself in many ways other than plastering Getty images all over your body, you know? Like, the moment you start throwing Discord tenor gifts all over your skin, I feel like you're going a little bit too hard to individualize yourself. Bro, I feel like style, like, that's all you really need. I mean, you could kind of just wear whatever you want and make that your own kind of like signature style. I'm of that too if you really want to get experimental which is something that i probably wouldn't ever do but you can get like piercings and stuff dye your hair if you want which i mean keeping it a buck i personally wouldn't do that i mean i dyed my hair once and i regretted it but bro i feel like you're just kind of locked in if you're wearing good clothes that are unique i think i spent almost six or seven thousand getting all my teeth done up a lot of people are surprised when I say I have trouble dating. Most people say, but you've got so many girls in your music videos. You've got so many girls throwing them. <laughs> Those are paid actors, bro. Is, is he? I hope he says that, dude. I hope he's not dishonest. Like, oh, yeah, these are all just the, my side hoes. Like, nah, bro, you paid them. themselves at you on your Instagram. And a lot of people can't handle their partner constantly having people gawk at them, throw themselves at them. All right. Wait a minute. Ready for my blind date. Let's go. How are 
I'm a hugger. <laughs> I'm a hugger. My gosh, you're so gorgeous. I gotta take it in. <laughs> I appreciate you. I go by a croissant. Croissant? Mm -hmm. Okay, where'd you get that from? Yeah, that's my question too, bro. She's, she's, the chuckle demon is about to release from her body. You know, there's a little chuckle demon right here and it's about to exit right out of here. She's about to be like, yeah, where'd you get that from? But I'm going to seriously tactically analyze Croissant's Riz because I kind of want bro to actually, you know, get himself some love in his life because at the end of the day, we all deserve love. So Croissant, lock it in, buddy. Let, let's see what you got. That's my musician name. I like Croissant. Some one of my friends one time said that if you keep eating them, you will eventually turn into one. And he said, I don't even know how to spell croissant. And that's literally where it came from. I just got it and then spelled it a lot easier. <laughs> okay, wait, how do you spell it? Literally how it sounds, just C-R-E-W-S-O-N-T. <laughs> my main interest- I That is so fire. She's intrigued, bro, for sure. But to be honest, you know, my tactical analysis is telling me something was a little off, right? Like when she was laughing at Croissant, that's the thing. I don't know if she was laughing with him or at him. And we're gonna have to look further into it to see what's up with that. I, it, it's honestly, it's just music. Do it full time and that's literally all, all I'm focused on is just music, music, music. I was really trying to figure out something that would kind of set me apart and I noticed the one thing that I notice about any musician, DJ, artist, anything is their tattoos are really what helps individualize themselves and that's initially what started my journey and I kind of went overboard with it. Yeah, I mean, at least he's aware. This is definitely going overboard at it. Like, bro, you're literally at Tattoo Con right now. Like, I can see the background. This is a tattoo convention. And like, bro, of course, you know, you have your hobbies. You can have things that you're interested in. You know, you can get tattoos. But, bro, this is so extra. You got an AK-47 balanced on your ear. You know, like, <laughs> in my opinion, I don't think it should ever get to the point in your life where that's, like, the tattoo you get. But yet again, I can't call the shots. My name is not Croissant, yours is, so I maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. What kind of women do you think you attract? I think I typically attract mostly the not so good women. And what, wait, what's, like, the, what's like, the not so good women? So most of the time that I meet women or see women, they'll either see me off my Instagram or they'll see me at a show. The type of music that I have is either really aggressive, really violent, it's a performance nature. So most people see the performer and they see that type of style and that's the type that go to it. So I feel like I attract more so the chaotic, attention seeking type of girls, if that makes sense. I gotta give this guy a lot of credit. He's very self-aware, which is something that I wouldn't necessarily expect from a guy whose self name is Croissant because he didn't know how to spell croissant, who also is tatted from head to toe but i'm but i'm impressed he's very aware of his circumstances his surroundings the women that he attracts the women that he goes for but hopefully he's able to use the fact that these crazy women are attracted to him and sort of turn that into like a sword of riz that he can slash through his current date with if that makes sense like he can weaponize the riz and basically be like oh these girls that have come after me are all crazy but not you you know what I'm saying? Like kind of do something like that. No, it makes a lot of sense. As far as like music wise, career and the amount of money it helps me make. Oh, it's, interesting. It's really good. As far as like meeting people, living a daily life, regular stuff, normal activities, it's kind of sucks for it. The reactions I get with tattoos are, best way to put it is zero to a hundred. I could have people that completely ignore them. And then I have some people that'll look at me mean, scoff. Some people hold their purses tight and, you know, do the stereotypical, you know, look away, walk away. It's a tough thing because although I do feel a bit bad for him, it makes 100% perfect sense why anybody who sees you in public who doesn't know you who doesn't know anything about you sees you and instinctively sort of like looks away or covers their purse or, or, or you know speed walks the other direction because you look scary you have an AK-47 tattoo that is literally next door neighbors with your ear that's going to scare people a lot of it has to do with prison culture too like in prison a lot of dudes are tatted up you know there's like gang tattoos and stuff and you kind of look like you were in prison you know just with all the tattoos and you said it too your music is violent you people think that you're violent so when that translates over into your day-to-day -day life when you have to interact with people yeah they're gonna think that you're violent bro career focus but when you go on dates do people constantly comment on your appearance and everything 
going on a date in the city, nine times out of 10, if we're at a restaurant, anywhere like that, we're gonna be approached. Someone's gonna talk to me, say, hey, I know you. Oh, you're the guy on Instagram. I've never met someone that completely inked up the way you are. Eight out of 10, nine out of 10 times, people judge others on their appearances. And right. I've been guilty about that. We all do it. Yeah, but if I would have seen you walking down the side of the road, I would have been like, well, probably a punk. You know what I mean? <laughs> and But talking to you, you're super down to earth and super gentle and completely different perceptions that I had walking in versus talking to you. It's like, oh, teaches you a lot to not judge and, you know, get to know someone first. So I try yeah. to give people always the benefit <laughs> of the doubt, but... It's hard sometimes. <laughs> so what's your favorite tattoo on you? I think my favorite one that I have would probably be the scar over my eye. Oh gosh, did that hurt? It was awful, I was gonna say, it goes all the way on the tips of my eyelid, and that was probably the most painful, but probably the coolest one in my opinion. Dang. <laughs> that was the most low energy response. Damn, that's crazy, dang. Which is weird because I think she actually is interested, so that response that sounded fake is strange. I'll be right back. So far, I feel like it's going pretty good. Um, we've had a pretty good conversation so far. She seems really cool. There was definitely an attraction there. She almost stunned me as soon as she walked in. So yeah, that's definitely up there. I am trying to vision him without all the tattoos because I'm not that big of a fan of tattoos in the face. So me trying to vision him without it potentially could have, you know, fit into my baby face realm. How do your parents feel as well? My parents actually don't really talk to me anymore <laughs> because of the tattoos. Really? Yeah, my mom is really, really against them. She has none of them. W within five years, I got went from my first one here to all this. Okay. That's crazy. I feel so bad. I mean, like, bro, at the end of the day, they're just tattoos. Like, obviously, he looks a certain type of way and he can't not look like this unless he wants to get like a surgery to get removed all the tattoos but like cutting off your own son you know like no longer talking to your own son like that's just kind of messed up i feel like like bro it's your own son just because he looks a little different well you just don't love him anymore i don't like that learning about him more i think i had a different opinion about him before i walked in and learning that he's really down to earth was a highlight for me Will you see I mean, if she's up for it, I'm down. I see us like crossing paths at some point again because of the, the traveling aspect. So whenever we're in each other's cities, I'm totally down to get coffee or get food or do whatever. Yeah, that's a no, bro. Oh, unfortunate. Ever. So yeah. For the most part, I, I think it went really well. There wasn't really a dull. Unfortunate, man. That's unfortunate. But unfortunately, Croissant cannot lock it in. You hate to see it. Anyways, though, if you guys ended up enjoying this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Follow my social medias. Links are all down below. And comment down Croissant if you made it to the end of the video. I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.